What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTNHD and yes, I finally, finally found a 3D printer uh, that's worthy for me to use. This is my third attempt. The first attempt I purchased the M3D desktop mini kind of printer to get myself used to that. Uh, it was a great experience, but the supports and it kind of fried on me, was it was horrible. The second attempt was I actually did a video with you guys at the channel and I did the unboxing and building it. It was a do-it-yourself uh, kind of 3D printer. And I got that machine overseas. It was really cheap. I would think it was under 200 bucks, but it was just horrible. Once I got everything set up and uh, try to print, it, it, just, it was just horrible. Uh, my third time, hopefully the third time is the charm. I picked this guy up from Mono Price. Great price. It was uh, around 300 bucks. The highest one that they have on their site is around 400. And this is like the second best one that they have. So uh, let's get into the unboxing first impressions. And uh, yeah. All right, so what comes inside the box? A lot of parts, but it's not like the do-it-yourself, like it's broken down into many, many, many parts. So this guy right here, I'm assuming, is the power supply because it has a power switch as well as a port to insert your power cable. And looking at the side of it, it looks like uh, this is where you insert your USB cable and your micro SD card, which is cool. They do provide you a micro SD card and it, they give you a 4 gig. This is the base. This is where all the magic is going to happen. Now, the, the build dimensions that you could get out of this particular 3D printer is 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. I want to print big stuff. They actually tested it out before they sent it out. They gave you a nice little uh, butterfly. Cool. And this is like uh, the housing. This is where the, the extruder is housed with all the fans. Very solid. I'm very, very happy that I don't have to build this. Uh, all the screws, Allen keys, definitely need that. Scraper so you can scrape it out. Even though the, the bed where the filament is going to be placed it is a heat bed. So that's a plus. And then gave you this nice little brush. I'm assuming to insert it inside the extruder to clean it. You got your handle to insert your spindle, your USB cable, uh, an extra mat for the heat bed. You have your manual, definitely need to read this. And if you guys are wondering what model, it is the Mono Price Maker Select 3D printer. It gives you a quick start guide, awesome. Power cable. And the only thing that I'm pretty disappointed is, look at this. This is my spindle. This is my filament. I was kind of expecting a huge bundle for 300 bucks. Come on, guys. Mono price. This little guy, what the hell am I going to do with this? But it's something I do appreciate that. Uh, they also provide you a, uh, a ruler, a checking chart, so you could... Uh, when the filament is going down from the extruder to the heat bed, you don't want it too high, too low. So this little guy will measure it for you. All right, guys. And that's it for my unboxing of the Maker Select 3D printer from Mono Price. First impression so far, I'm loving the build. It's pretty sturdy. It's pretty strong. I'm pretty excited about this machine because I don't have to drive myself crazy translating foreign instructions to build it. It's already built. All I have to do is put a couple of screws in to put the base uh, and then power it on and then adjust the X, Y, and Z axis. And then I'm good to go. I'm really, really excited. 
I'm happy about the price for under $300. It is not that bad, especially with the build, 8 by 8 by 8 inches. That's awesome. That means I can build big things and then just assemble them together uh, and then we're good to go. Uh, I have a lot of things planned now for us. I think my first 3D build is going to be uh, either... I'm, I'm thinking about doing the 3D Iron Man mask, the helmet, the entire thing. So I'm excited about that. I already have the, the files and everything. So future, awesome. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this guy is that the size of the filament that it comes with. This little thing, I was expecting something bigger, but hey, can't complain too much about that. Uh, this particular model supports a lot of filament. It supports uh, plastic, uh, ABS, I think, foam, wood, I think metal. I think it's metal. It, it supports a lot of it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, again, this unboxing slash first impressions. My first impressions, it's awesome. It's sturdy, great budget price. Uh, it is classified as a 3D printer that it's entry, but it's right there into the advanced level. And that's me, right? Uh, third time is a charm, so hopefully it goes well with me. If you guys do own a 3D printer and have any tricks or tips, leave it at the bottom of the description. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. And hopefully the next one is going to be me printing something with you guys. Peace out.